uh, just a real plain vanilla walk up. Again, more. Okay, this is really an E flat seven, but uh, again, I'm using a major tritone, which is the A major chord, and I'm just using the fifth and the seventh of the E of the E flat seven chord. That this is that's what it is, but I'm using that. Okay, from here, this is an A flat chord. Let's go to A minor 7. This is 2, 5, 2. Which is a D. But we're going to give it some movement here. So D7. This is a D7. This is a D flat minor 7 with a 9 in it. C minor 7 with a 9. We're going to make this a little more open. And this is an F7 chord with a 9 plus 11. I guess 13 in the root. Okay, this is a little Art Tatum trick. He, it's the first one I know that did it. Uh, but uh, most jazz players use it. You're going to go up half a step and do a uh, uh, 2 5 2 5. So you normally would go F minor 7, B flat 7, but instead of doing that, that we'll go up half a step, which is an F sharp minor 7, B7, flat 5, then regular 5, then down to the F minor 7. And we could go to the B flat, but I'm going to go F minor 7 to, which is really an E7. So, just a little run. This again, it looks like a D7 with a plus 9, but it's really an E flat diminished in my mind. That's a nice little run. That is an A7 with a 7 in the bass. It acts like a pedal point. switch this up a little bit and before I did that but what we're going to do is go it adds a little bit of dissonance but I kind of like it so you're really imposing an A flat minor 7 and a D7 on the same uh, at the same time it's kind of superimposed it's the way I think of it okay this is a wild chord I like it, some people won't, but uh, for just a color chord, I think it's really nice. It's a C7, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, hit the root. I don't like the root in it, so it's a 3rd, 5th, 7th. I hit the E and the F like that, then I go 7, minus 9, plus 11. Uh, with that F in it. You can do it without the F, but I like the F in it. A little uh, downward, uh, a little motif here. So... So 
that is a D flat seven with a nine in it. Come up, that is a G flat seven with a sixth in it. So, where do we go from here? Um, one thing I could do, I'm going to take the first uh, part of the song, the first eight bars, and go a little bit further out with it in terms of the harmonies. Uh, so far we've been using pretty much the same chords that came with the song, but just varying them and adding different types of uh, color notes or voicing notes to them. So, um, what I'm going to do this time... That's a good place to start. Um, basically, I'm using an, what I call an E Lydian. I'm taking the same voicings, but going down to an E flat, but I'm inverting the E flat to put the fifth on the bottom. Same thing. I'm sorry, I said E flat, I meant D flat. This is E flat. This is a D flat with a five in the bass. This is an A major seven, flat five. A flat Lydian. Do a chordal voicing for an A flat minor seven. I think of that as a G seven. Minor seven, A minor seven with a flat nine. That's an F minor seven, but I'm using the sixth in it. This one's a little weird. This is an E major seven, but I'm using a minor third or a, a plus nine in it. And this is going to be D flat major seven, G flat major seven, E major seven, so that's that. I hope you find it interesting and I hope it was helpful and um, I'm signing off. Thanks a lot.